This is Lewis Hart for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight. So delighted to be joined with the English heavyweight champion Sol Dacres. We're here at a press conference for your fight with David Adelaide. Take three. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. How's things, mate? How are you? Yeah, all good, man. Just you know, training in the gym. You know, come for the day out at the press conference. Absolutely. Obviously, it's um, the third time this fight's been scheduled for David Adelaide. Just trying to get one in before the end of the year. Um, yeah, happy, I guess, to have it finalised and. I mean, hopefully, I'm sure he's here today, so hopefully f finally see him for the first time at a press conference. Yeah, I mean, that's all I want to do. I just want to fight, you know, and I, I, want to, I want to be victorious and, you know, progress myself in this sport. So, you know, this is an opportunity to do that, so that's what we're here for. Yeah. Especially for yourself when, you know, this year it's been mo mostly focused on fighting David Adair. I know you had a March date, you had a July date, and uh, there's obviously this December date. Has it been a little bit frustrating? Like, have, you, have you sort of approached it with a bit of apprehension because it's like, you know, you don't know what's going on? Yeah, because you know, like like you said, I've had this this supposedly locked in, like it's locked in now before, and then it's it's, it's not happened. Um, so of course I'm a bit like, you know, uh, is he going to turn up? Is he going to fight? But you know, I, I don't I don't think he can can pull out this time. You know, it's been too many times, and you know, if he does it now, it's, it's game over for him, and it. So you know, it's it's got to happen. <laughs> And I guess where you see it from yourself, from your point of view, make it, I guess, easy for yourself because really like, the pressure's all on him. Yeah, yeah, pressure's on him, like, you know, in, in terms of if he doesn't win this, you know, where does he go from there? But for me, obviously, I put pressure on myself because, you know, every fight is a must-win fight because I want to get to the top of this game. So, you know, um, in terms of myself, I just think about myself, my own pressure, and I've just got to be victorious and, and look good doing it. And this fight, this must be a fight that you are relishing because for so long you've, you've said to people how good you can be and everyone saw that, you know, when you're on GB in the, in the international tournament, they saw how good you can be, but it must be exciting because you can finally put sort of your, your money where your mouth is in a sense and show when you're going to call it your position what you can do. Yeah, exactly that, you know, give myself a, you know, a bit more of a higher profile fight and show, you know, this is what I'm about, you know. Um, show my boxing ability, show everything I'm training, hard working on, of course, and uh, like you say, you know, put it on a bit, bit more of a bigger platform. And I know it is a typical question to ask, but when you, you know, you, you've been ex fairly experienced in your professional career so far, but do you feel like when you do have a fight like this, like this is a lot easier, like it's a lot easier to get yourself up for this because you know you're in for a real like domestic clash, you know, it's, a, it's almost a must win for either of you. So do you feel like, you know, that gives you that little bit of extra motivation in a way? Yeah, I suppose so. But, you know, I'm, I'm always training. My goal is to just be the best in the world, you know, and that's, that's just pushing myself. So no matter who I'm fighting, I want to be the best. So... I'm always going to push myself. Like you say, the, the names, the, but the names don't specifically motivate me. What motivates me is the goal, and the goal is to become the world champion. And I know that every single time I enter that ring, I've got to, you know, perform. So that is my motivation every day. There was one thing I did want to ask you about. I know it was from when you beat Webster in the rematch, but there was a clip between yourself and um, and David, and he said, you know, next time I see you, going to punch you up. And you, you sort of made a remark saying, you know, you're going to be hitting air, and you know, are you going to have it with the gloves on? So a little bit of a funny remark between uh, yourself and David. Yeah, yeah, he, he come after the last um, fight where he was supposed to be fighting, and, you know, Webster stepped up, fair play to him. And, you know, he was giving it all the talk af after the fight, but, like, and I said, you know, Get your gloves, get your gum shield, you know what I mean? I'm here to fight, you know, that, that's what we've got to do. Get your gloves on, all this talking uh, is nonsense, really. Do you feel like, though, all the frustration of, like, the fights where it hasn't happened and it has pulled out, like, that adds to that adds and it builds it? Like, maybe, like, as you say, you know, the motivation really is, you know, you focus on yourself, but all the stuff that's come with it and all that frustration, it does add to, to, to how, to this performance on December 7th? Now nah, it does because, you know what, you know, I've been waiting around, I've been to, you know, previous press conferences, come down to London before, it's not showed not turned up to the fight I've had these dates locked in so you know it does become frustrating so you know I've, I've, I've got to uh, go in there and, and you know what show them that you know, you know what you messed me around here so you're going to know about it and I guess for yourself when you look at your style and it's a bit different to everyone else you know you do have that sort of that that are very elusive and that hit and move style as a boxer. Um, do you feel like that always gives you a bit of confidence knowing that you know, mostly in the heavyweights, a lot of them are all, are all punchers. And that's not saying you're not a puncher, but you know, I ha you have the skills to back up as well, which that must give you some confidence against your opponents. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, the thing in this game, it's all about you know, hit and don't get hit, and you know, defense, defense first and foremost in the heavyweight division is, is crucial because um, you know it doesn't take as many shots in the heavyweight division to change the tide of a fight so you know something that I really work on my defensive attributes um, so you know we want to take as least punishment in this game because you know I've got a career ahead of me you've got to think smarter not harder sometimes you know um, and like I say defensively that's what you want to be a bit more slipping sliding you know making them miss making them pay you know you just want to be you know 
utilising the sweet science in there. Has it ever like, frustrated you a little bit? Because I think maybe sometimes, especially as a heavyweight, people do want to see the knockouts. And um, maybe a style like yours where you're a little bit elusive and a little bit hard to hit at times. That isn't always something that's giving its flowers for one. Did you ever find that frustrating when it's like, you know, people want appreciating like the art of boxing in a sense when they watch you fight? Um, a little bit, you know. In my first few fights, you know, I got, I got to stop it. My first one didn't get a stoppage and I got a stoppage and I had a couple of, you know, um, decision fights where people, you know, I was I was coasting through the fights, you know, you know, boxing the heads off, winning every round. But people said, you know, they want to see more. But I know that down the line, you know, those rounds and that boxing skill, when you when you get to these big fights, that's going to be the difference. You know, it's not about just stopping every journeyman coming up against a good, good 10 round fighter. And you can't you can't do the distance. You can't box. Look at people like Usyk, you know, people looked at him and like, he didn't stop, you know, he didn't stop, like Derek Chisora, a tough fight, he's, he's, he's got the lowest, out of the top 10 heavyweights, Usyk's got the lowest knockout percentage, yeah. but look who's undisputed heavyweight champion yeah. of the world, it's him. So it, it's something, with the boxing, the, you utilise the sweet science, it's something that doesn't get appreciated until you beat the people, and then they say, yo, this guy's a serious boxer, you know, but it don't, it don't get appreciated, the knockouts get appreciated instantly, because you yeah. see those clips. But the level of boxing, I think it gets appreciated later on. And hopefully I can stay in this game, keep victorious to show that. Definitely, for sure. So, as always, a pleasure to speak to you. Always appreciate taking time to speak to you. And, yeah, all the best on December 7th. Top man, thank you, mate. Cheers.